I definitely want to keep rewarding that. Oh, that's good. That's the first time he's doing that. That's really cool. This is why I'm like trying to film so much. It's these light bulb moments are so rewarding in dog training. They're just the most rewarding. last night trying to work on that one but I want to show you some things I've been working on uh, this week Kenobi Kenobi good boy I just uh, fed <laughs> he's putting himself in the kennel I just fed Elsa so I want to do some training with him because after this I gotta run around I gotta drop that package off I gotta get some stuff so I want to, Kenobi, come. Good boy, I kind of wear him out a little bit mentally. And I didn't want to bring him, even though, K Kenobi, Kenobi. Oh, don't knock the camera over, good. Go place. Good. Even though I have, uh-uh. Stay there until you're weak, until you're freed. Um, wait, place. But um, even though he's been doing really good on really short runs, I gotta do it to a couple places. And I think doing multiple short runs, I don't think he's quite ready for that yet. Good job. So, but at that place, but he has been to the post office even this week. Good boy, he's been to the post office. So he's been doing really good. I just want to keep building that success and um, not overdo it. So there's no reason to do that. I have a service dog. So. Yeah, anyway, random. Um, so let me show you. I got this muzzle. Oops. Go place. Off of Learberg. Um, I don't know. It sound, looks like it's like clearanced out, but if they still have it. Great price. I've also seen them on Amazon, um, but I got this for like. I think seven or eight bucks. And I actually got one size up too, because this is actually Elsa's size, so it's a little big on him right now. Good boy. Um, and then I have one size for him to grow into. And I want to muzzle train him, because I believe in muzzle training. Also, it's another piece of weird gear to kind of get your dog used to, right? So first we did free. Good. Good job. So first we did a lot of this, right? We just dropped the, the food in, let him eat it. Got food, kind of meat. and this one's really cool. One, it's soft, all right? I do really like that. And of course, she's a melon walk. You're probably gonna get the same reaction from a lab just because, you know, food, good. And if you could be a little ninja-ish and kind of drop it in there like that, I think that was on camera. That was a good drop. As they're, they're still, their nose is still basically in there, then that's a good one to do too depending on how fast you are, but um, not only is this soft, but this has a treat hole. See how big that treat hole is? So once I get it on him, it's actually listed as a conditioning muzzle. Good boy. And then we've started doing um, muzzle. Good. Actually saying the word. Of course, once you do this so many times, and you'll say muzzle after they're really like looking at it and they're like, oh yes, food, yes, good boy. See, he keeps trying to like look for it, good. So I definitely, whenever you get that where they want to stay in it, good job. Yes. You definitely want to keep rewarding that. Oh, that's good. That's the first time he's doing that. That's really cool. This is why I'm like trying to film so much. It's these light bulb moments are so rewarding in dog training. They're just the most rewarding. Good job. And then, um, yeah, you just get muzzle. Good. And then they see clicker. Yes. 
They see that you, they get it after a muzzle. Good, good. And I still greatly feed in there. Once I start strapping it on him, which maybe the next session, you can see he's starting to be comfortable just staying in there. Because I don't want him to like freak out. Yes, good boy. I don't want him to like freak out that it's stuck on him. So I want him to have some duration before I actually, good job, start um, actually strapping it on. But one thing you could do just to kind of practice the buckle, yes, is, oh, he's giving me a lot of duration. Yes, good boy. Um, yes, that's so good. One thing you could do to practice buckling is just buckle it around here. Good boy. And of course, he doesn't care. Now, if you have um, a dog that's a little bit more sensitive, we're just going to use all the treats on the muzzles. To, uh, um, sit. Good. And you could do some commands with it. Uh, she was a little bit more like super. She's more gear shy. Uh, he doesn't care. Um, another reason why you do this when they're so young. If I did this, if I did the muzzle when she was young, she probably wouldn't care. Because I did boots when she was young. That's actually something I need to start with him. And she doesn't care about boots. Like, she doesn't do a boot walk. Everyone says their dog has, your dog will have to do a boot walk. Like, no dogs do not do a boot walk. She doesn't boot walk. Because I introduced her so early that I think that's what did it. So we're almost at 16 weeks, and I believe, you know, that's your prime socialization window, right? Puzzle. Good. Try different positions, right? Um, so I want to try to introduce all the gear I can within that socialization period, just because it's going to go smoother. Puzzle. Yeah, good boy. And sometimes I'm feeding in, sometimes I'm feeding out. Mainly feeding in because I want him to know, yes, dang. Uh, that was my bad. I clicked when he came out of the muzzle. I want to click when he goes into the muzzle. Muzzle. Yes. Um, so I want to make sure he's getting rewarded. Yes. Inside there. All right. So that's muzzle training. I think that was perfect for this training. Uh, the next one. We've been doing is a vest. Um, so he actually ha also has a car harness. Kenobi! Kenobi! Good. Try not to call his name twice. That's bad on me. Um, can you dress? Yay! Good boy! Uh, so he's, we've done his car harness several times and he doesn't mind that one as much. I don't know if this is heavier or stiffer maybe, um, but... He's a little bit more shy of this one, so I really gotta put more time into this one. Uh, dress. Yeah, good job. So I'm not gonna go as far, you know, I'm not gonna force him. You know, he doesn't need to wear a vest right now. Uh, puppies in training really don't need to wear vests anyway because you're not gonna be taking them in really public places. Dress. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Um, and if you have a service dog, you could have them wear a vest, you know. So, which is what I've been doing at the post office, which I think, honestly, my post office is pet friendly. I'm just used to post offices not being pet friendly, so I'm saying it's not, but there's either, there's no signs either way on the door. Um, and they don't serve food, so it's not like an automatic no. Yes, good boy. Kind of hard to click and treat at the same time. Yes, good boy. So, definitely working on this one a little bit more. He'll probably never wear this one out. Honestly, I think he's gonna grow out of it before. Good job. So now you can see, I don't know if you saw last time I put it on. Good boy. Um, he was kind of like stinky, right? He was still a little bit. See that? See that? He's okay. He's okay. Yes, yeah, shake it off. Spin. And I like to throw a lot of little treats in tricks. Sit. Sit. Good. Get their body moving when you're doing these um, uh, desensitization trainings. Dress. Yay. It really helps them to have them moving. That's, the muzzle is really easy because you can hold it out and they can like run into it. Uh, this is a little bit harder. Dress. Dress. Good. 
I want, excuse me, I wanted to do, I don't think we're going to have enough. Maybe we can do one. Maybe we can do one. Can you sit? Sit. Yes. There we go. I'm repeating myself again. Down. Goodness. Bad trainer. Don't repeat yourself. Back.